Hello, fellow stargazers. Today we have for you the Core Mega Set. Now, this is one of our featured regular sets, or one of our component sets. Uh, we really love this thing. This gives you a lot of bang for your buck. This is a, a lot of core pieces, so you get a lot of corners, straight walls, two by two floors, but you're also getting a nice helping of stuff from the advanced core, like the diagonal, the accessory wall, the staircases, and the one by two floor, and the trapdoor floor. We've used all of the pieces outside of a few, so we're just gonna you know, indicate which ones we didn't use over here. Let's go ahead and just get right into it, right? So this is more of a one room kind of build. Cormega is great for that. You can build multi-room ones, they'll just get a little bit smaller. So we went for this one. So the theory here, right, is that it's either part of an ongoing structure that you're in the middle of and you're kind of like, you know, walking up steps to get in, or maybe it's like some, you know, outside outpost out in the middle of this, you know, snowscape tundra or whatever. And so even with just like a simple battle board or, or terrain tray, you could turn this into something else entirely. So as we come up the steps on the outside, right, we come into the corner, it would lead us right into the door. What's neat about this, right, is that we can even just exchange these two pieces right here, keep the same kind of general build shape and everything, but we're giving it just like a slightly different feel to the actual entrance. And that's kind of the, the nice part about using all of these regular core pieces is you get the opportunity to like just kind of mix and match. You could technically even put a straight here if you wanted to make it look, you know, potentially it goes out into this other direction, right? It's all about perception. All right, so then as we come into the building, uh, we've got our inside corners going right into our accessory wall. So what's nice about this kind of design is trying to make sure that like you can use your walls in place of either floors or even just break up part of your design. That's what the inside corners help to do, right? They help to taper it off. What's neat about this too is that the accessory wall has an additional biscuit peg towards the top. So on the front side here, we've got our ladder on the opposite end here of where that staircase is. So it helps imply, you know, where that's gonna go. And then as we have our staircase on the backside, again, implying a second floor, but you don't necessarily have to do that either because the staircase has a couple of different directions it can go. You can even flip it upside down, give it to the other side, give it a different function, give it a different purpose, or you could even have the staircase go directly up towards it. And now you can even see the design on the staircase matches the top of the accessory wall, right? Everything is kind of cohesive. Everything's trying to build towards the same design motifs, the same aesthetics. So we're gonna push this back here because it goes directly into our multi-module. Again, everything is the same height. Everything is built on the same grid. So everything just matches up perfectly. When we have our multi-module here, it helps also cap off this inside corner, giving it a really just nice clean look. But even if you wanted to flip this upside down, again, that design matches the staircase, right? So everything kind of feeds into each other. But what's nice about this is that those two things match up at the top, whereas these two things match up at the bottom. We have a flat and we have an angle. As we come over here a little bit, I'm gonna shift these walls so you can kind of see. We've got our one by two floor flipped upside down. So this is like more of like an exhaust port or armor plating or something. Just gives you a different feel to the whole aesthetic of the floor. You could have it on the A side is what I would call it. And now, you know, it matches the whole design of the rest of the floors. But it's just nice to kind of utilize these things as a way to very simply and quickly break up the, the regular design. Then we come over to our two by two trapdoor floor. Obviously this thing has two sides as well. We have a more clean cut and then we also have ridged design. We have a blast door panel in it currently, but we could also replace it with our clear panel, right? So now it's either, you know, a force field or it's a piece of glass or, or flex glass or whatever you want to call it, either a protected area or potentially something that we want to know more about. This is also true for the door. We can take our any of our panels, right, and exchange them in the door frame. So now if we put it in here, you know, even just the entrance into this place is something where it's either a force field, it's either glass or something again, just kind of gives us different aesthetic to everything. That's kind of always what we want to try to do, right? We want to try to give multiple options to a build 
and multiple options to the design of a build so that way you're never playing the exact same thing the same way. Okay, as we come back over here, I wanna bring up the, the multi-module again. We're using the multi-module over here as an inside corner, which is a really neat trick to be able to do that. Uh, but you can even very quickly, right, put this here, put my multi-module over here instead. I wanna adjust the room, you know, I want the lockers to be right next to the door or, or not, or I want this space a little bit more open because I have something else here. Either way, you're gonna have a really easy time uh, with everything, again, because of the way that the angles are cut, everything bleeds into each other really nicely. As we sort of cap this off on this build, we've got, in this other trapdoor floor, we've got our cables. Now again, because the trapdoor floor has two different places where you can put the insert, you can even have this on the underside, making it look more recessed, making it look like, oh, you have to come work on it, and then at that point you could then also put your blast door panel on top of it. Now it's a thing people have to open up and get to the cables if they want to. And lastly, we have our console right up against the accessory wall where on the top biscuit peg, we've got this holder with the pillow accessory of the articulating arm on top of it. So all of this stuff fits right in here. Again, because we've kind of made everything on the same increments, we've been able to do this a lot more exact than maybe some of our accessories before. And additionally, if that was a little too tight for you, you could flip this upside down, right? And since there's also a design up here, you could go ahead and put it right into that spot and it would raise it up just a little bit, give it a little bit more room for comfort. Okay, so that is it for this build. Next up, we wanna take our pieces, the same build, and using our 360 degree design, we're gonna show you how this same component set builds an exterior. Okay, so we have our alt build for the Core Mega out here. This was more of an exterior type build with the same amount of pieces. We've done our 360, so we've turned all of our straight walls, our corners upside down. We've kept the floors the same to kind of keep that same texture. We've used everything uh, out of the build except for just the trap door and one blast door. So you can mix and match that into the actual, you know, other makeup to the rest of it. Or you can even, technically you could even, if you wanted to, you know, lean it up against the wall or something. It's an extra piece of paneling or it's an extra piece of debris or something like that. It's kind of one of the other nice things about the nature of these pieces. You can get a couple extra uses out of them if you just want to leave them as like freestanding bits. So right up front, we've got our entrance. We're putting our inside corners facing the ground, flush against the wall. We've got our short stairs, right? That we're just going to hold in give a little motif there. So it kind of gives this little bordering to the door. Also above our door, we have our articulating arm. Again, still just biscuited in, but now it gives it this sort of intimidating presence. Is this a camera? Is this a security system? Is this something that pops out once the players are trying to get through the door? Or is this something that's preventing them from getting into the door? Or is it just a mainly an observation tool? Uh, just another way to kind of interact with your terrain, interact with points of interest uh, very easily. And then as we come up to the second level, or I guess the you know, the first elevated level. Uh, you know, we were getting all of our pipes kind of on the exterior parts of the design all flowing into each other. We've got our cable trapdoor insert, right? Some sort of idea of maybe you have to have it here or maybe you could even put it underneath in this section, underneath this uh, second story here. But you just kind of have to mess around with it. Maybe the players have to interact with it in some way just to get through this door right, and get it to a second section up in here. And actually, I'm gonna grab this on top. We've actually got our clear panel up top in this trap door. Maybe it's a skylight. Maybe it's, a, again, just another entrance into this thing, or maybe there's some other uh, hidden function that we don't know about just yet from your game that like you need to get into this room to, to help manage the rest of the area. And then as we come over to this side, right, we've actually used our one by two floors to create a narrow bridgeway between this structure and a second structure built of floors and straight wall. This is also just kind of a neat way if you don't have any catwalks or if you don't have any other things to kind of help you build suspended bridges. A nice way to do that is your one by two floors because they still have biscuits on all four sides. So it's really easy to do that. I like taking these multi-modules, putting them in between. You could probably wedge them in here it's not necessarily uh, advised, but that's why I would go ahead and rest them on top. And then as we come to the outside edge here, right, we've got our command console 
leading out to something, this would be a great place to put like a showpiece or something, some big radar or, or some other like silo tanks or something like that. Some, some reason to have this be a, a less fortified but still necessary point of contact or point of interest for your characters was what I would lean towards. And lastly, uh, we've got this nice kind of open area down here, right? Now this is perfect for terrain trays, especially if you want to do hazardous parts of your terrain. Maybe this is a chasm in between here, you don't want to fall down, or maybe it's lava or whatever. But the other interesting thing that we have here is this inside corner is actually being used as a riser, right? Uh, just like some of our caverns pieces used to do. Uh, so that's kind of the other benefit of these inside corners. They do help create stability. Now it doesn't really need it because of the biscuits, right? It does hold, but it's advised just because, you know, physics. Also, you know, you can hide a lot of interesting other things down here too, right? Like this is a perfect spot for any additional accessories or even, you know, oh, this is where the alien nest was and now they're popping out and they're climbing back over the side or something like that. It's a perfect little set piece for exploding action, right? Like having something buried underneath here. Okay, so that was the alt build. This is more of an exterior focused alt build. Just wanted to show you how these pieces in their 360 nature and just in the same amount, you can do a lot of cool, interesting, different builds uh, with a very simple pack. Okay, so that's been the core mega set. We've shown you a couple of different ways to build it. This is a really great component set. It gets you a great value for all these base pieces, uh, even more so than the regular core set. And you're also getting some of the things from the advanced core set, like the accessory wall, the diagonal wall, this trapdoor floor, the one by two floor. You're getting these extra components in here you're making slightly bigger rooms. It's a great buy-in, especially for somebody who just wants to dip their toe into this project. I can't highly recommend this enough. Additionally, it builds great interiors and exteriors. So this is a great one-stop shop for anyone. If you like this content or if you wanna know more, we have more on our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Discord. We have a server there where you can ask questions from our community or even from us. But also if you wanna have any questions specifically about Starforged, you can also do that on our GameFound page, and we have FAQ in a comment section. Thank you so much. This is Tyler, over and out.